Hello and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today I would like to introduce you to a very interesting piece of ours by Sheila Pinkle. She's an American artist and she did this type of artwork which is called zero radiography from 1997 to 1983. After that point in time, she moved on to other things, which I will talk about in a moment. But first, I want to focus on this particular artwork in our permanent collection. When you look at this piece, you see that there is a large floriform, meaning flower-like, image in the center. It's two smaller flower forms are present on either side of the larger flower form, and you see various sheer-looking leaves and some grasses in the lower left-hand corner. All of the floral images are various shades of blue with sort of a white corona around the various pieces. While it is tempting to call this an x-ray, it actually is created in a different manner. This is zero radiography, and it is created by having metal plates that are coated with something like selenium, and then it's a photoelectric process. This allows whatever is being viewed to show in extreme detail, and this technology is used most commonly to detect any abnormalities in breast tissue. While it does give medical professionals a closer look at whatever is being imaged, this process is also higher in radiation. The way these zero radiographs read is that the more dense material is the darker blue, and the lighter material that is not as dense is seen as the lighter colored blue or even the white. So when you look at this thistle, you see that the stems of the plants are more dense and show up darker than the very light, fluffy flower forms at the top of the plant. One of the things I think is really interesting about her work is it not only shows common things such as thistles in a very interesting way, you're seeing it in a new light, but also it really speaks to both the fragility and the strength of a thistle. As many of us know, thistles can be problematic. They're very tough. They are hard to eradicate if they have taken over your lawn, for example. So this image to me really kind of sums up all that a thistle is. It is very strong and resilient, yet it has a delicacy to it as well because, it, of course, it is a li living organism. It is a plant. Another thing I wanted to discuss is her composition, which I think is also really wonderful. She, notice that she layers the various plant forms so they kind of swirl and dance around each other. In fact, the large thistle in the middle almost looks as if it is dancing and waving its leaves. It's very interesting and it's very easy to sort of animate this in your mind to see it blowing or swirling around in a breeze. In addition, I really like how she did the solidity of the grasses and the various other plants in the lower left hand corner because I think that really kind of offsets the delicacy of the plants in the middle. You've got a kind of a solid image on the bottom that is kind of counteracting and it's also kind of serving as a ground line. So these thistle aren't just sort of in the in in space floating around. You can see that they're, you know, were at least at one time tied to the earth. They were growing from the earth, which I think is she cleverly alludes to by putting these grasses and these, these more dense forms on the lower left-hand side. As I mentioned before, Sheila Pinkle stopped doing her zero radiographs in 1983 and moved on to other projects. Her art became a lot more political. It explored incarceration of individuals in Asia. It also talked about social justice in the United States, and she did several very large public art projects with various organizations in California as well. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.